the ocean. It's our largest habitat on Earth. The last four years, the Fish for Good project took us beneath the waves of the Global South. And now we know so much more. This is Fish for Good. More than half of the fish caught globally comes from the Global South. Fish for Good was initiated by the Marine Stewardship Council to guide fisheries in Indonesia, Mexico and South Africa on their journey towards sustainability. This four-year puffer project's aim was to provide the support and tools to improve their fishing practices all with the purpose of restoring fish stocks, both now and for the future. This was made possible with funding support from the Dutch Postcard Lottery. In South Africa, thousands of people rely on fishing for their daily living, either to provide food on their plates or as a way to earn an income. Fisheries must be sustainable in order to provide people with a livelihood into the future. I I've been fishing for 37 years, give or take. I say fishing is in my blood. We're totally dependable on the stock out there because if the squid love, we love. South Africa is flanked by two highly biodiverse and productive large marine ecosystems, the Benguela and Orgalis current. A wide variety of fisheries take advantage of the fish stocks. MSE pathway projects like Fish for Good follow a four-stage process. The first stage is mapping. The MSE conducted a scan of 63 fisheries in South Africa and based on the results selected 18 fisheries for deeper mapping. The fisheries were mapped according to their target species, areas fished, gear used and catch volumes. Stock status, environmental impacts and market potential were also taken into account. Then we have pre-assessments. The Fish for Good advisory group evaluated the findings of the deeper mapping report and selected nine fisheries to be pre-assessed against the MSC's fisheries standard. The pre-assessment process measured the performance of each fishery against the MSC standard and identified areas for improvement. The third stage is action plan development. The advisory group selected five of the nine fisheries. During this stage, the gaps identified in the pre-assessment were translated into a to-do list for each fishery. So the stakeholders could begin working together to improve sustainability. Priority actions relate to the development of harvest control rules, fishery specific management plans, data collection, assessments of fishery interactions with endangered, threatened and protected species, catch of non-target stocks and understanding of potential ecosystem impacts. The five selected fisheries were the Elbacore tuna pollen line fishery in the Southeast Atlantic, rope grown mussel fishery, squid jig fishery, a yellowfin tuna long line fishery and the East Coast rock lobster fishery. The final step was implementation. During the implementation stage, the five improvement action plans were implemented by stakeholders through fishery improvement projects. The action plan development and implementation stages were coordinated by the project's implementing partner, WWF South Africa. 
Following these stages of the Fish for Good project, the fisheries may be in a position and voluntarily work towards NSC certification. The socio-economic issues are intertwined with the fisheries. You need to understand the inner workings and the challenges of each fishing sector that you work with. It is these aspects that can be key in rolling out a fisheries improvement project. The future of the industry lies in the people that are actively involved in harvesting it. And we believe we are on the right track. We have the research people involved, we have the government involved, we have the industrial bodies involved, and we all work together to ensure that this stock is not overexploited. Extremely important that we work in partnership with the global fishing community. It's only through those partnerships that we have joint international agreements to manage the entire stock within the Atlantic Ocean. The initial improvement that we have seen has been environmental, but of course the knock-on effect of that is social too. I do think there is a customer-driven preference to support a sustainably produced product. It's not only good business, is good for the environment, and we need to lead that. For a small fishery like Albacore that doesn't have the financial means to be able to sort of compete with the bigger industrialized fleets, you know, the MSCs really come to the party and, and said, we will provide you with the necessary expertise and support. We'll walk together with you towards achieving MSC certification. Many of the fisheries have the understanding and the ability to take the path towards more sustainable operations and they can walk the rest of that way with their stakeholders. Just to see the kind of passion that the people have shown is an example to be followed. Not just looking to achieve MSC certification, but aiming to optimize their operations even further. I believe that the future looks bright for fisheries that took part in the Fish for Good project. Sustainability really does make a difference. We need to make sure that we have fish left in our oceans in the future. As long as we look after the ocean, the ocean will look after us.